it's like five or something. It's like six. It's like seven o'clock in the evening. In the evening, my roommates are ridiculous. What is happening? No, no, no! Can you see the Edward Frost? Right. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> that hit my head. Who do we live with, bro? One dollar beer. Who do we live with? Wow. What is this? Look at this mess. Take Florida. Oh my god, run away. Run away. Stop! Stay, stay, come, run! <laughs> come back! <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> they got here and I don't know where they're coming from or who's watching after them but I do know that I will one day rescue that black kitty update on the whole cat situation I heard this lady next door say venga which is uh, Spanish for like come here I guess they're like her kittens and they're just outdoor kittens but there's like six of them I'm sad now <laughs> El Pollo Loco, I'm on the phone with my girlfriend and she told me that in order to get rid of my, my cold, to go to El Pollo Loco, get this tortilla soup, get a large, that's important, and then to get like spicy salsa or whatever to put in it. Now I probably won't do that, not because I don't like hot sauce, I'm Mexican after all, but I just don't want to put any in there because I don't have a stuffy nose, I just have a sore throat and I don't really want to add fire to the mix, you know? So I probably just get the chicken, tortilla soup, hopefully it makes me better. Um, if it doesn't, she owes me halal, guys, so, you know, win-win. So, I'm number 12. I really don't think this is going to work, but I'm also extremely down for soup. Um, I'm not someone who typically gets Mexican food from, like, fast food restaurants, and that's just generally because I'm Mexican. I grew up with, you know, authentic Mexican food on the daily, so I never had a reason to go to any sort of fast food Mexican restaurants. Uh, there are some out there that I will go to, like, I love Taco Bell's, like, Quesaritos, but that's just because they're just bomb. And I also really like this place in Long Beach, it's called El Taco Loco Number 3. That's the important part, Number 3. They make bomb Mexican food, everything tastes authentic, and it's legit. So, other than that, I really don't go to places like this. That's why I'm kind of skeptical. I also want it to be authentic, I don't want it to be very, like, I don't know, like, fake tasting? So I know I said I wasn't going to get the uh, salsa, but once I went in there, I was sitting there and I was like, they have avocado salsa. Like, how, like, how can you not get like this avocado guacamole sauce. Like. It is what it is. Alright. Security just for IT guys. Okay. It's just a dump. So I figured, you know what? Why not? Why not get the salsa? I love green salsa. Salsa Vedo is my favorite salsa ever. That's the only one I usually get. Um, and it's not like it's it's definitely less spicy, and like I said, it's not that I don't like spice. I've been eating like crazy spicy things my whole life. I just really love the like freshness of salsa verde. You know, like it's just it just tastes fresher. I don't know what it is about it, but it just to me I just prefer it. So I'm gonna taste it once before I put the salsa in because I always like to do that to make sure that it tastes good without the salsa. I don't know, I'm really weird about stuff like that where I want it to taste good regardless of what the extra garnish and stuff that I put in it, you know? Hot. 
This is really good. Wow. This is bomb. There's like so much like chicken and like vegetables and stuff in it. Like it's, look at this. That's pretty dank. Michael up. I need you to do us a favor. It's actually pretty nice. It was really good. It was delicious. It was filling. I don't know <clears throat> if it's helping, but it sounds like it is. I probably should take some medicine though as well. So this came in the mail for me today and I'm very excited because I've been waiting for this for a very, very long time. What we have first is the damn album on vinyl. This album is great. Kendrick Lamar is definitely my favorite. <coughs> His album, Good Kid, Mad City, is probably my favorite album by far. So I also got this. And this is a limited edition Kendrick Lamar signed vinyl. Uh, it's like a cover, so it like opens up and it has like, you know, it has all the names of every song that's on his album. It credits the people that are on the song, who produced the album, produced the track, who the vocals were. It even talks about who like mixed everything. So this is super cool. I'm definitely gonna have to frame this and not touch this forever. The way I found this out was I saw it on his website and I saw that he was selling like a hundred. It was for like 30 bucks and I was like, 30 bucks for a vinyl and for it to be signed? Like, that's like a no brainer, that's super cheap. I had to wait like five, six months for this to get here. Honest to God, I forgot that I had ordered this thing and then it showed up in the mail and I was like, everything's different now. But like, I'm really excited that this is here. I, this is great. And I'm definitely gonna have to frame this. So yeah, today's been a great day. It started off with me being sick, getting a lot of things done today, getting some bomb Mexican food, and then ending the day with getting my Kendrick Lamar signed album. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.